Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back today with another tutorial. And this tutorial is one that I contemplated making, but honestly, as you guys know, I like to give my two cents on certain things. And this one is something that I'm pretty sure we all want to talk about. I want to first and foremost preface this by saying that I have no anger or hatred towards Manny. I think he's a very talented person and I think that Maybelline chose the correct person to represent their brand when it came to choosing him to be their first male spokesperson. But there are some things that people have been saying that I wanted to address and give you guys the opportunity to talk about as well. So with that being said guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to learn how to get this look, stay tuned. Keep on watching. Prepara el té because it's a good one girl okay guys so I'm not exactly sure what I want to do as far as an eyeshadow looks so I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup first I think for primer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mixture of my two favorite primers from the drugstore this one is from hard candy this is the sheer envy primer ultra light formula I absolutely love this primer so much before I dove into the more higher end primers and even before I dove into the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser as a primer I absolutely loved this primer so much it does an amazing job of not only prolonging the wear of your makeup, but it also, without even claiming to, reduces the looks of your pores, which you guys know my pores are really big. So anything that makes my pores look really small, I'm all about that life. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix these two together and apply these to my face, and I'll be right back. So before I get into the tea portion of this tutorial, I want to first just apologize for not having a video the past two days. Actually, it's only been one day. I was supposed to have a video up on Monday, but I still was recovering from my cold. If you guys have me on Snapchat, you guys know I had a very bad cold over the weekend, and I'm thankful that it's finally going away thanks to Vapor Rub. I feel a lot better, but there's still some congestion like right on my nose up here, but it's going away. I feel so much more better, which is why I'm filming today. So yeah, and thank you to everyone who wished me well. I love you guys so much for being so nice to me and thinking about me when I'm sick and things like that. So you guys are fucking awesome. I love you guys so much. So today's tea has to do with Manny MUA. I'm sure everyone has heard already about that busted ass one brand makeup tutorial he did with Maybelline Cosmetics. And honestly, I was not going to do this video until he went to Snapchat and did a rant because girl... Anyways, he went to Snapchat, of course. He talked about how everyone who was saying negative things about his video were all haters, which I think is fucking bullshit. So basically, after that one brand tutorial using only Maybelline products video was put up, a lot of people were giving him shit because the video itself was very weak. And by weak, I mean it just wasn't a good video. There was no substance to it. There was no excitement about the products in it. If you did not see this video, I will have it linked down below for you guys to watch yourself so you can see just how bad the video was. It was such an awkward video to watch because I felt like it was very, very rushed. It was almost as if Manny was supposed to have had this video done a long time ago, but he just now got to it. And it looks as if he, like, filmed it, he edited it, and uploaded it in a matter of an hour. Now, the main reason he's getting a lot of heat for this video is the fact that people are now saying that the makeup that he used in that video was all makeup that was sent to him by Maybelline. Not one of those products were purchased by him to use in the video. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if that's true. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's definitely true because I don't stalk Manny like that. Like, I can't sit here and tell you that I know for absolutely sure that those products were all sent by Maybelline, but I do know that he does do unboxings of his PR packages on his Snapchat. So maybe I'm guessing these people have watched those Snapchats of him unboxing these products and they just know from that. But that's the main reason why he's getting a lot of shit is that people are mad at him for using products that Maybelline has sent to him instead of going to sort of buy his own products used in the video. Now here's my thoughts on the situation. Quite frankly, I do believe that Manny should have definitely gone to the store to invest in more products from Maybelline because he only used like maybe like five or six products and even still the look was so incomplete. There was no liner, there was nothing. It was just a very blah look. For being an advertisement for Maybelline, which it was, it was probably one of the worst videos I think I've ever seen him create, at least as far as looks go. Random little side note, the other day when I was sick, I was in my kitchen trying to reach my damn rice pan that's on top of the goddamn shelves in my kitchen. I can't reach that shit without a chair. Even with a chair, it's hard for me to reach that shit. It's so fucking high up. But anyways... I was trying to reach that damn rice pan so I could make my damn gallo pintos. After about two minutes of trying to get that damn rice pan down, I decided to use my backup one, which is in the cupboard down below, and I forgot I had the door open, so when I went to go bend down really quickly, thank God I missed my fucking eye, because that would have been a tragedy. I went down really fast, and I banged my head off the door for that cabinet. Like, it fucking hurt. All for fucking gallo pintos. But anyways... 
like I said, I can neither deny or confirm the fact that he used only products that Maybelline sent to him. I don't know. I don't stalk him like that. Even though, yes, I do recognize most of those products from his unboxings from PR, I'm not going to sit here and attack him for only using Maybelline products that were sent to him, but I will touch on it just in case it is the truth. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette and we're going to go into the shade Bone, which is this cream color right here, and I'm going to set my lids with it. I want to first congratulate Manny for becoming becoming the first male spokesperson for Maybelline. That is such a huge deal and a very big honor, especially because now we have male representation finally in the cosmetic industry. For all those little boys who are at home who beat their face to the fucking gods but are too afraid to show that shit off for fear of being tormented, it is so important to have representation for everybody, especially when it comes to things like this that a lot of people like to do. And it's not specific to just one gender. So for that, I say congratulations. It is a huge honor, and I can't imagine how happy you must be to have such a prestigious title. Now, with that being said, Manny for months has been talking about how excited he is, how blessed he is to be the first male spokesperson for Maybelline. And this has been going on for months. And let me just say this right now. A lot of people are getting tired of hearing it, but the man has a point. He has a right to be excited. He has a right to brag about it. It is a huge deal. You know what I mean? Can you imagine if you were the first male spokesperson for Maybelline or any cosmetic brand for that matter, you would shout it from the motherfucking mountains, bitch, okay? Calmate. Let him have his moment. However, in the comment section of that video, he sort of backpedals in a comment which I will insert right now. To me, it doesn't matter if you are a spokesperson for one product, four products, or the entire line. You are a representative for Maybelline Cosmetics as a whole. When people see you, they see a representative of Maybelline Cosmetics. Now, like I said before, Manny has been very, very vocal about how excited he is to be the spokesperson for Maybelline. He has never specified the fact that he's only a spokesperson for the mascara. At least nothing that I've seen, you know what I mean? I kind of want to do like a romantic purpley pinky eyeshadow look so I'm going to take the shade Silk right here from this palette and put it into the crease but I'm being very messy with it. Now I'm taking a clean brush and we're going to clean up any harsh lines. I don't know, to me it just seems kind of fishy that I have not heard him say once before in any Snapchats, Twitter posts, or anything that he was a spokesperson for only one thing from Maybelline because all this time until this video was put up he was so excited to be the representative of Maybelline as a whole. So to me, something smells kind of fishy. And no me gusta pescado, I don't like fish. So if I smell something fishy, I don't like that shit. So now I'm going to take the shade Ribbon, which is right here, and we're going to place that into the outside corner. And then with whatever's left on the brush, we're going to blend it into the rest of the crease. Now the other reason people are reading his ass to filth in the comment section of that video is the fact that in that video he only used maybe like five or six products and the look itself was very bland. Like he only used eyeshadow, didn't do any liner, barely any mascara because the mascara he is the representative of literally did not look like it did anything to his lashes. It looked really, really bad. And it was kind of weird because the products that he was so in love with that he was using on his face for the first time were products that were bad. Like, the contour shade he used to contour his face with was complete shit. Like, at first it was pigmented, and then the more he blended it, it blended away, like, to nothing. There was nothing there. But he was like, this is so good, it's so good, and I'm just like... <laughs> So I'm going to do my liner off camera just because I feel like you guys are going to judge me if I do it on camera because I take so long to put my liner on. Like just for example, in some cases of me putting my liner on, I swear to God the second coming of Jesus himself is going to come before I finish my liner in some cases. So let me just do it off camera and I'll meet you back here in like two seconds. Eight hours later. Alright guys, <laughs> that literally took forever for me to do because my lashes were not behaving. But anyways! Alright, so I'm going to apply my favorite everyday blush. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. We're going to apply a very, very small amount to the apples of my cheeks. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying before we had to do all of this. So basically people are mad at him because he won't even spend his own money on Maybelline products even though they literally pay him to be an influencer for them. And honestly, I have to agree with what people are saying. 
This brand pays you to influence people to buy their products. However, you couldn't even be bothered to buy their products for a full face tutorial using their products. The look was honestly weak as fuck and you could have done so much more to really showcase what Maybelline products can do. I feel bad for Maybelline like I said earlier because I feel like they're definitely getting the short end of the stick because he posts this busted ass video but they still gonna have to pay him for it because he used their products in the video. It's advertisement. And honestly, how can we trust somebody who's not willing to spend his own money on the fucking brand he's sitting here representing? This goes without saying, but it's already hard as it is to trust the bigger YouTubers because they're all being paid by all these brands to say all these nice things about these products regardless of whether or not they're shitty. And it's kind of ridiculous to think that you can influence people to buy Maybelline's products when you yourself won't even buy Maybelline's products. Now let me just read some of the comments to you. Maybe you guys can see what I mean by this being bullshit. Honestly, I love you, but I just don't feel the same watching your videos anymore. This video was disappointing. Like, he was like, fuck it, let me make something real quick because I'm a spokesperson. It looked rushed. You really shouldn't say I'm making it work for every single step. Maybelline has amazing products that are really good in quality, and they don't need a lot of work to work. LOL, he straight said, for this challenge, I did the best I could. Basically, these products are so shitty and it's a challenge to make them work. Couldn't you be more prepared? I feel sorry for Maybelline. Wish you put in more effort. Is management telling you to be the guy known for lashing out at his viewership via Snapchat? Is Maybelline behind that? Love you, Manny. This look was kind of boring, but still love ya. Can you do a full face using Wet n Wild? This is the first video of Manny's where I had to stop watching. His reviews seem very dishonest and not prepared at all. I love Manny and what he does, but this was just not a good video, especially when the mascara looks like it doesn't work and all he mentions or talks about is the partnership with Maybelline. Now, like I said, I don't think any of these comments were negative. I don't think they were trying to be assholes to him. They were just telling him as his subscribers that they weren't impressed with what he had done in this video and I have to agree. It was a very, very, very poorly made video and he could have done so much more and as his subscribers we know what he's capable of creating with less products than what he used in that video but he was talking about how people need to check themselves before coming after him for his makeup and how he does his makeup and things like that but that's shitty to say to your subscribers because your subscribers are the ones who watch you to learn how to do their makeup better like, he was going after this one girl because her makeup was less than perfect and she was going after him for his makeup. I don't give a shit if she was a subscriber or not. You don't do that to somebody. People watch you to get better. Now, let me just play the devil's advocate here for two seconds because I want to make sure that I address every side and every angle of the situation. If, in fact, the products he did use in this video were sent to him by Maybelline, and we know that without a shadow of a doubt, then honestly, it only validates what everyone's been saying about you and your little clan of besties for the longest time. When it comes to working with brands, it doesn't matter if you actually use the brand or like the brand or not. As long as they show you that cash money, girl, you're gonna do whatever the fuck you need to to get that money. And you know what? I'm not gonna sit here and be mad at you for doing what you do as your job. Like, this is what you do to make money. It is what it is. But at least be honest to some extent about what you're using and what brand you use. I'm not really watching Manny anymore. I feel like I agree with everyone who says that he has definitely changed because I've seen it. I remember Manny before Jeffrey came along. I remember Manny before Patrick came along. And there's definitely a different person person that we're watching now. You know what I mean? Like, I know that when people meet each other, people tend to pick up little quirks here and there that the other person does. However, I feel like Manny has now just taken over an entire Jeffree Star personality. Honestly, I feel bad saying this, but I see him as Jeffree Star's understudy. I see him as Jeffree Star 2.0. And honestly, he was so relatable because he was still learning makeup like I was. And that's the reason why I honestly loved him was the fact that, number one, he was different. He wasn't like everyone else on YouTube at that point when he first started his channel. But he was also incredibly talented and he still is talented. But I feel like ever since Jeffrey has come into his life, I, I for the longest time I was like, no, I don't think that, I don't believe that. But now, looking at him back then to now, it is obvious there is a huge difference in who he was from back then to where he is now. And I know people change. Sometimes it's for the better. Sometimes it's for the worse. I don't know how to categorize Manny and his change. I don't understand it. I know he's happy, so I'm happy for him. So honestly, it doesn't matter what I think. As long as he's happy, it shouldn't matter what anyone thinks. But as a subscriber, I have to agree with those of you who think the same way. I definitely agree he has changed. And maybe it's not for the best, but 
but he's happy, so why does it matter what we think? And honestly, the day that I realized he really did change was the day I was watching him on Snapchat and he was in Bora Bora. And he mentioned in the Snapchat that he wanted to get the Kylie Cosmetics collection that had just launched while he was in Bora Bora. But he didn't want to spend the money on it. So he was like, if I can just get on that damn PR list, I don't have to worry about paying for it. And I was like, wow, that is such a shitty thing to say. Like, I was thinking it must be so nice to have all these trips paid for by these brands. It must be so nice to be able to just say one thing about a brand and have them send you all this shit. And here he was literally being so blunt and talking about how he desperately wanted to be on Kylie's PR list. But that wasn't the first time he did something like that because then he went to Snapchat again. He had ordered some stuff off Jouer's website and one of the things he had ordered was a highlighter. And in the Snapchat when he unboxed the highlighter, he's like, Hey Jouer, if you want to work with me, let me know asking all of his followers to get a hold of Jue and try to get him on their PR list. Like, that was ridiculous. Come on, man. And I have to be honest, there is a part of me that really does believe that the makeup you did use in that video was all sent to you by Maybelline. Because if you think about it, we have not seen a Manny haul in which he shows you products that he bought with his own money in a very long time. And the only unboxings he does are on his Snapchat and they're all PR unboxings. So with that being said, how honest can your reviews of these products and of these brands be? Going back to what I said about him not spending money on new products for his video, it's kind of ridiculous that he didn't even bother to go to the store to buy new products to really create a full face using only Maybelline products because that brand pays out what I'm sure is hundreds if not thousands of dollars in gifts, in trips, all the paychecks he gets for every post he makes using their products in it. But he could not go to the store and buy liner or anything else to make that look more complete and more better because honestly, like I said, it was probably the weakest look I think I've ever seen anyone come up with. So I don't know, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. I have things to do, like make dinner. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. As usual, you guys know I love talking to you guys about these things. I love you guys so, so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.